Hey guys, I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make a low triangle. It's a triangle with rounded edges. All right, so I've created a new document. I can You can do that by going up to File, New, or Command N, and then I created a 1920 by 1080 document. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and switch off any kind of fill up here. So I'm gonna to go to None, and I will keep the stroke on. And this triangle is basically a triangle with rounded edges. So first we need to start with a basic triangle. So I'm gonna come over here to the shape tool, click and hold and grab the polygon tool, click on my canvas anywhere, and a little polygon tool dialog box is gonna show up. If you pick three sides and hit okay, it's gonna make a triangle. It's an equilateral triangle and that's what we wanna start with here. So then I'm gonna grab my selection tool and we're gonna blow this up a little bit by holding shift and option, clicking a corner and dragging. So we've got a bigger triangle. Actually, I'm gonna scale that down a touch. All right, now let's grab the ellipse tool from over here. The shortcut key for that is L. And once we have that tool, I'm gonna to find one of the anchor points. And actually, it'd be really helpful if you go to view and turn smart guides on. But I'm gonna find one of these anchor points, click, and then hold shift and option so that I can create a circle from the center of that anchor point. And I'm just gonna drag it until I match one of the other anchor points. See how it's lined up there with those smart guides? And from there, I'm gonna let go. And I just need to switch over to my selection tool. The shortcut key is V for that. And hold option, you can see that my cursor changed to the little duplication icon. And if I click and drag and hold shift, see that center point? There's an X in the very center. I can't really drag my cursor onto it, but I'm gonna drag it over to that point. You see where it says intersect? I'm gonna drag my circle to that spot and then let go. And then I'm gonna do the same thing, hold option, click and drag, and drag my circle to the other anchor point on this uh, triangle, and then let go there as well. And what this triangle is, this Rulux triangle, I don't know how to pronounce it, is this part here with these rounded edges. So we need to get rid of everything but that. So let's grab the Shape Builder tool. It's over here. It's got two circles and a little uh, little cursor there. Uh, Shift M is the shortcut key for that. And once we have the Shape Builder tool, we actually actually we need to select all of our objects first. So hit that Selection tool, grab everything, or use Command A or Control A to select all. Then grab the Shape Builder tool with Shift M, and now we can. You see how it uh, recognizes all these shapes in here. It sees all the shapes. So if I hold Option, my cursor changes from a plus to a minus, and I can just click and draw through the shapes that I don't want. So I'm gonna click and draw through these outside shapes, and then let go, and it deletes all of those. And since you can see that I have a plus on there, I don't have to hold anything, I just got the plus icon on there, I can click and drag through all these, and it's gonna add them all together. And what that does is it creates one shape, you can see we got one shape left over, and it is that rounded edge triangle shape. And I think this thing kind of looks like a shield if you flip it upside down. So maybe this is a tutorial on how to create a shield. Anyway guys, if you found this tutorial helpful or learned some tips here, uh, like this video, subscribe for more tips and tutorials, and free resources and live streams and all that good stuff. Uh, thanks for watching you guys, I'll see you next time.